the Energy Minister came to the Illawarra with a new vision for the Coal Coast. Today I'm announcing the beginning of public consultation about the Illawarra's offshore wind zone. It's one of six regions across Australia identified for offshore wind. The proposed zone covers almost 1,500 square kilometres, from the northern suburbs of Wollongong to just south of Kiama. It's expected to generate enough energy to power 3.4 million homes and create more than 1,200 ongoing jobs. Areas like Illawarra will be at the centre of Australia's future as a renewable energy export powerhouse. And a local business has secured federal government support to help turn water into energy. HiSat is an electrolyzer company, and an electrolyzer is the device that splits water, H2O, into hydrogen and oxygen. HiSata has developed a way to do that in a really energy efficient manner. In fact, we use 20% less energy than any incumbent electrolyzer today. The Australian company has opened its new factory in Port Kembla. The company behind this technology believes it could be the key to decarbonising heavy industry and turn Australia into a global player in the development of green hydrogen. To some extent it will be as an energy carrier taking renewable electricity, solar and wind, converting to hydrogen to store it and then reuse it later on as a fuel. A Queensland power station will receive one of HiSATA's first electrolyzers in 2025. But the goal is to use them to create steel, removing the carbon from one of the world's most energy intensive industries. Tim Fernandez, ABC News, Port Kembla.